I'm Kaho Shibuya. We are at Anime California. Wait, I think it was like three and a half years. Mm -hmm. And that's it. I started from 2014, November, and my last work came out September 2018. So mm -hmm. it's like okay. about four so years. Okay, and you've been out for about a year now. Mm -hmm. It just is. It's like it's not like you know. I hate it there. You know, I don't want to. I'm not gonna say b anything bad about the industry, mm -hmm. but you know, it's just like I quit every other job. Like I just wanted to do new things, like mm -hmm. start my life again. So mm -hmm. yeah, um, it's not more about like transition. It's just following your passion. You know. I'm a very curious person in nature, so I just want to try different things. So, mm -hmm. um, like following wise, I got a lot of like, fans. Like I already have a fan base because of JBs, and there are some fans like who also are anime fans. So mm -hmm. there are like hardcore JB fans who come to this event only to meet me and I appreciate that but you know it's just not um, I don't know they're not otakus in nature mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so, so I don't know because we share some same fans but definitely I need to work more on new fan base um, right now I'm a writer too I I write columns and my book just came out, which is all in Japanese, so hopefully one day it gets translated. <laughs> but um, well, I do voice, I'm gonna start voice acting next month in an upcoming hentai in Japan. Mm -hmm. uh, but there was an actual job offer about voice acting hentai in English, like in here. So maybe we're gonna, we might be working towards that. Mm -hmm. and what else? Um, I do have a YouTube channel, but I don't consider myself as a YouTuber. I just host the channel. They ask me to host the channel. I don't do like edit or I don't try to make my own videos. So mm -hmm. I don't call myself a YouTuber, but I do have a U I do host a YouTube channel. I do host a radio show, um, and I write and what else? I cosplay, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> and there are a lot of things going on. Mm -hmm. And I think it's mostly because of why well, I keep the same name, Shibuya Kaho. So, yeah, in the beginning, I kind of stumble a little because right now, Japanese government is trying to uh, introduce last name, first name basis because that's what we do in Japan. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you can call me Kaho or Shibuya or whatever. <laughs> but, yeah, well, I keep the same name from JB years mm -hmm. because that's how people knew me in the beginning. Um, I still want to make the best use of my last career because I'm not particularly ashamed of it. And I think I, because I got so many fans, I think I should use the fan base mm. to promote myself. Mm -hmm. I've had a lot of weekly columns when I was in JAB uh, because before that, I was a news reporter at newspaper companies, so mm. I followed baseball, but you know, because of that, I got a lot of writing offers in Japan, mm. so I kept writing, and uh, one of the weekly columns, they just wanted to make a book, and it was about, like, mm, kind of behind the curtains, like, kind of thing, uh, JV days, mm. like yeah. how we made videos. Because, as as you know, I say, oh no, like our work, like our porno adult films, they're all censored, mm -hmm. unlike in the state. And because of the pixel panties, like sometimes we can fake it, you know, <laughs> like you know, sometimes we make fake genitals <laughs> or <laughs> we make fake cams, then we making a fake, you know, the liquid sink. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we use um, a quite or mm, soy milk, or like there are a lot of ingredients going on, and we try to find the best ingredients for 
big comes in. <laughs> yeah, those kind of interesting stories. Yeah. Actually, I'm starting to learn how to do DJ. Because I love to go, I hate going to parties, which is <laughs> like, I'm like a typical otaku, like I like to stay at home, just watch anime on my own. And, but I like going to any club, which is like any song club. Like they only, they keep playing anime songs and I like going to them. So I just want to play my own, you know, favorite mm. anime songs. So mm. which is what I'm trying to learn. Maybe some of the any songs from 90s. Mm. <laughs> That's like the golden age. So <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, you know, back in 90s, mm -hmm. we don't share the same any songs sometimes. Like, sometimes there are only US versions. Like, mm -hmm. right now, they're trying to use the same Japanese song, but like Digimon back mm -hmm. in 90s or early 20s, mm -hmm. or even Pokemon. Like, you guys have your own US songs mm -hmm. that I cannot sing along. <laughs> Yeah, um, so I want to bring back all the Japanese original song because there are some great songs. Mm -hmm. So I want you guys to know that mm -hmm. the great Digimon opening song that mm -hmm. you guys don't know. <laughs> yeah, KG Wada, right? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. That's one of my favorite. The first season is always the best. The original is always the best, even Love mm -hmm. Live or any other <laughs> stories. Uh, except Jojo, I like older seasons much better mm. because in the beginning they didn't have any stands. So, yeah, some of the show I like how it developed. So, so yeah, there are just too many favorite shows. I just try to keep track of new ones. Ah. Damn. <laughs> like I said, I respect um, I respect anime and manga in nature. So, uh, I don't want to say bad thing about you know anything, but it just something. It just mm, some changes I cannot appreciate. <laughs> like, <laughs> just like I'm wearing Tifa, the original version of cosplay, mm -hmm. and you know how how many remakes that. Final Fantasy had, and mm. sometimes there are different versions of the Tifa or any other characters, but we always do appreciate the original. And I don't know about the Digimon tree. I think um, it's obviously about adolescence, and mm -hmm. there were some relationship problems or some developed feelings that I we didn't ex. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> My favorite character is Sora. Um, we all, it was all surprising when she started dating Yamato, right? Mm -hmm. Because we always thought she was going to end up with, you know, Hi. the protagonist, yeah, mm -hmm. Taichi. So it it can be great. It can be a great surprise, but. Sometimes um, I think you need to stick to what fans want <laughs> because of the cons and all the anime enthusiasm. I think creators now understand what we want mm -hmm. rather than trying to surprise us like mm -hmm. all the ever, you know, like mm -hmm. they, I think some of, some of the anime failures, like they try to surprise us too much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like making a weird ending again, like ever. <laughs> so like, mm -hmm. uh, I guess because there are more anime fans like saying out loud like you know um, not close otakus like more like we can say proudly like we are otakus we love anime and manga now creators can easily find us on social media and they understand what we want so I really appreciate that mm. unlike I like the dig that Digimon tree. <laughs> 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 you know, I like. Uh, I appreciate that now creators get to understand us more mm -hmm. and try to um, give us what we want. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oops. <laughs> it's just it's so hard to relive what we had. 
she was just legend. Like sometimes I don't want her. You don't have to add anything to it. Right. And sometimes like fan art and fan books are do way better than <laughs> what remakes are. So I don't know. But I like the fact that more and more people get to know about the show because mm -hmm. it's remade again and again. So mm -hmm. yeah, I appreciate that. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know what, um, actually my favorite character from Final Fantasy VII is not Tifa at all. <laughs> I wouldn't say at all. Uh, my favorite was Yuffie. Mm -hmm. And I tried my best to have a date with her at the amusement park, mm -hmm. it, which is actually the toughest besides dating Burette. So, yeah, but I always try to find a character um, that fit my body line so I don't always get to cosplay my favorite character mm. I usually go for frat girls in nature um, let's say I like Lemu oh, I like Ramu rather than Lemu mm. from Rizero and my favorite from oh who was that my favorite from Konosuba is Megumin rather than Darkness um, my my waifu from Love Live is definitely Nico Yazawa. So I don't have any favorite, any of my favorite characters got big boobs. <laughs> so which is a problem. So I want to find my big breasted waifu someday. Mm -hmm. So like I get to cosplay, you know, out of my dream, out of my passion, not like out of what my fans want. Oh, there are so many. Um, Super Sonico, mm. and uh, Makina from Matos Delta, and oh, what else? Um, I also cosplay Patiko from Gigant, which is a new show. They haven't made anime yet. Mm. It's still manga, but the manga artist is the Gantu's creator, Hiroya Oku. So hopefully. <laughs> anime is going to come out because he did interview me for his new work that Giganto mm -hmm. so he he they always said like my look kind of inspired the character so mm -hmm. hopefully if <laughs> it becomes anime animatized so mm. I get to cosplay more mm -hmm. American pop culture like inspire a lot of work in manga especially like my hero academia mm -hmm. and things like it's so american hero inspired mm. oh what else well avengers is a huge thing right now even in japan mm -hmm. and i lost track of that like i i like spider-man so mm -hmm. i went to to the theater oh yeah <laughs> you're wearing a spider-man t-shirt yeah i went to see the new movie but i didn't watch the avengers last Last film, so I just like suddenly everything happened. <laughs> so <laughs> you know, I don't want to spoil it. But, you know, it's just a lot of thing happened between the last Spider-Man movie and the new movie. So I just couldn't. I just had to guess what was mm. going on. So I hope that they make a they can ma they can make a decent list of DVD box. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I hope the production thing is gonna. The issue is going to come to an end. Mm -hmm. Oh, with Disney, they can do a lot more, I think, definitely, like money wise too, <laughs> <laughs> not just the story wise. Uh, they can do a lot of collabs. So I say Disney also, the uh, some limey version of Spider Man with Grace, so which was back in Sony. Mm -hmm. So, you know, but nobody appreciated Amazing Spider-Man that much, so <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, it just depends on the creator, I guess. Mm -hmm. There were, those are only two choices. <laughs> uh, <laughs> do you like Andrew Garfield? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, wait. 
Tobey Maguire is like the ultimate, um, yeah, Peter Parker. Because, mm. um, yeah, it was just undeniably great. <laughs> <laughs> Although we, I'm sure we didn't like the third season, mm. right? But the till the first one and the second one was amazing. Um, yeah, he embraced ver vulnerability and, hmm, like Tom Holland is good, but you know, they changed up a lot from the original story. So mm -hmm. I cannot say if he fits the original Spider-Man because mm -hmm. they changed up a lot. They even changed up MJ. So mm -hmm. yeah, MJ is not even not even Mary Jane anymore. <laughs> like <laughs> it's Michelle. So mm -hmm. Michelle something. Mm -hmm. So no, but I like that how they try to you know, make Spider-Man fit better to this day, you know. Mm -hmm. MJ is not a typical red hair, kind of, like, very actressy, I don't know, um, what was that? The typical girl, like, who dates a jock, <laughs> mm -hmm. So she's more interesting. And it's not like she's, they're gonna try to MJ, like, they, they're not gonna try to make her like turning into a butterfly, you know. She just, they just letting her the way she is. Not like, unlike Harry Potter, you know, her Hermione suddenly came out of shell, like, you know, in a dress. So, it's just MJ is always MJ. She's cynical and you know, she's not obviously beautiful. Like, even though, like, actress herself is, um, she's got a great look, but she, as MJ, they try to keep the MJ look, you know, the kind of quirky, dorky, mm -hmm. and cynical smart. And I like that. They try to change the change from the typical Spider-Man because that was back in how many years ago? <laughs> I think Sun Tzu was the first yeah. Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure there are a lot of things like so so predictable, I guess, <laughs> at mm. that time. Mm. So I appreciate the new version. Mm. Yeah. Oh, no, besides, <laughs> besides <laughs> obvious, <laughs> besides what resting on the desk, okay. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think it definitely helps that, um, that I get to speak their language, like in the state, especially. Like, it was hard, but I think, well, I kept scoring F when I was, like, ninth grade in English, but I watched WWE, WWF at the time, like, uh, the pro wrestling, and I just started getting into English-speaking TV shows and everything, and I studied this language on my own so I love using it so I guess fans appreciate that I try to speak more English and try to get interactive oh, besides, um, oh, I guess otakus they inspire each other <laughs> they understand each other more mm -hmm. so yeah, I think they identify with me mm -hmm. and that's it my otakuness and English helps mm. a lot. Besides being happy, <laughs> oh, I want to mm, stay active. I don't want to get bored or you know, get bored of myself or what I'm doing. Mm. So I'm sure I'll try to s always find something new in my mm. life. Oh, okay. Did you have any questions you thought of? <laughs> 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 Thank you so much, Kaho. Thank you. Mm -hmm.